So this, in my opinion, is the best new way to level up yourself and your weapons in Modern Warfare 3. This also consists of no glitches either. Although I'm pretty sure the killstreak dupe glitch, which I'm seeing everyone posting with the sentry guns and those exfil spots within zombies, has been fixed anyway. This, in my opinion, is way less hassle, much easier to set up, can be done in a team. It will earn you way more XP, in my opinion, faster. So, hey, how's it going, guys? My name's DPG, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this XP farm I found on accident, I won't lie. I was trying to level up my sniper. And using the method of exfilling in zombies with a sniper to earn XP can be a little difficult. But I figured out a way to earn crazy amounts of levels super super fast. The steps are easy. There's a few bits from other methods thrown in. This works with any weapon too that you want to level up. But with snipers as well it works. But seeing the amount of XP I was earning with my sniper rifle. And how quick the levels were flying up. This will be even quicker with leveling up those weapons with other weapon types like the ARs, the LMGs and things like this because you just kill these zombies much much faster than what you can do with sniper rifles. Okay so to start guys you need to enter that zombie mode. From here make sure you are using the weapon you want to level up, make sure it is equipped. Obviously this is important. Now for the rest of your loadout the only thing I recommend is using that energy mine. I mean, you can throw in a stim if you have one, uh, would be useful. But other than this, guys, you are good. Now, if you do have double XP tokens, make sure you are using them at the right time, which I will talk about in a quick second. I wouldn't say activating them before you get this set up uh, is wise though. So lean off using them as of right now. From here, guys, load up zombies. This can be done in a team or solo, but if you are playing solo without any friends, make sure that squad fill is turned off. Now, once you are in, all you need to do, guys, is make yourself 5k in that money. To do this fast and simple, just complete two contracts. I recommend doing them in that tier one area. You should be able to get them done in about five minutes or less with no trouble at all. Don't forget you earn XP for taking out those zombies too. So by the time you've done two contracts, you should easily have 5k. Now, once you have that 5k, guys, you want to locate that pack a punch on the map. It will look like this icon right here. So head over to it, people. Now, once you are here, you want to pack a punch the weapon you are trying to level up. This is obviously important. What this does is it increases the mag size and it also increases the power of the weapon, the damage output. It more or less makes it one tap absolutely every zombie in those exfil spots we're going to take advantage of. Again, I was doing this with a sniper rifle. You use an LMG, an AR, an SMG, it's going to be even more crazy. And as you will see with me and my sniper rifle, once it was in that pack a punch mode, I was taking out multiple zombies within single shots. This alone was refilling my field mine in seconds, meaning I could also take advantage of that too, which is absolutely crazy. Again, if you pack a punch an assault rifle, an SMG, an LMG, a marksman, it basically makes you invincible when it comes to farming those lower tier zombies. This in terms of the amount of XP you can earn will be so much quicker and so much easier easier than what you see me earn on screen now with my sniper so keep that in mind now if anything but a sniper rifle and maybe launchers is being used you probably won't need that field mine i mean because you destroy zombies that quick but if you are using a sniper rifle and maybe the launchers in the game the field mine will come in way more handy so once you have your weapon in that pack a punch version head to your nearest exfil site or to one where there's no one else nearby this would probably be wise from here guys if you have them and this is where you want to start to use that xp token if not if you don't have any it's still okay you'll earn xp double xp things here and you'll still earn crazy amounts of xp anyway so don't worry about it so trigger the x fill you will now notice tons of zombies will start spawning in here you just want to start taking them out rounding them up and taking them 
act. Remember, once you have that engine mine active and fully charged, I mean, if you have a bunch of zombies grouped up, you can just drop this and it will wipe them all out to earn yourself crazy fast XP. But again, with weapons like ARs, SMGs, LMGs, you will plow through zombies even faster than using a field mine once it's in that pack a punch version. I would say the field mine comes in way more handy again with those sniper rifles and maybe those are launchers. Now what I will say is, and many people don't know this, after about the fifth round of zombies, after around the fifth time you've called in the chopper, because you obviously do not want to get on the chopper, once you exfil and the chopper comes in, you don't want to jump on it, you want to continuously farm these zombies. So yes, leave the chopper to fly away, uh, wait, well what I would say here guys is once that chopper is flown away, you want to wait for that green flare to trigger again. For me, if I just simply run away from the area and come back or just simply get up high and then jump back down to base level, it seems to trigger it quicker. I'm not sure if this has been confirmed, but it seems to work for me. But yes guys, you just want to do this to farm these zombies. Now again, what I will say is after around the fifth round of zombies, the fifth wave of zombies, they seemingly do start to fall off in regard to those XP gains. So on the synth one, if I were you, take out the zombies and personally I'd exfil with the chopper and get out of there. I mean, if you have time left, I'm sure you could head to another exfil site and rinse repeat those XP gains there. I haven't tested this myself yet. It could work, but it might not. Now, I have seen an exploit with the sentry gun for me personally, although this was working last night. Right now, the 14th of November 2023, I can't get it to work. It makes sense that they have patched this or they will patch this ASAP anyway because it was crashing those servers. So in regards to XP gains, as of right now, I do believe this is by far the quickest way you can do this, people. Either or guys, it's super fast and a way you can earn XP without using any glitches and level up your player, your character and those weapons too. On screen now guys, I've seen a bit of gameplay of just how fast I was leveling up my sniper doing this. It is crazy good. But remember, once those XP gains start to fall off, it's wise to exfil with that chopper and then just go back into the zombies and repeat the process. For me, it seemingly they dropped off the XP gains on about the 5th or 6th exfil zombies wave so keep that in mind but there we have it guys a great way to earn crazy amounts of xp to level up guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one